Hey guys, it's your boy Climax, and today we're going to be discussing James Wiseman, the best rookie in this class, at least it's looking like it right now, and James Wiseman has absolutely been balling out for this trash Warriors team. Uh, so guys, before we get into that, uh, if you do like the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Really, really helps out the channel and me. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for doing that, and we're going to get into talking about how why James Wiseman is, you know, uh, the best rookie, uh, why he is really shocking a lot of people, and how he is playing. He is playing pretty dang well, um, especially since, you know, the, this rookie class, a lot of, you know, not the strongest, but, you know, James Wiseman is looking like a pretty solid number two overall pick, actually. Um, he... He has been impressive. Um, he's averaging, you know, he scored, I think he's averaging around 18 points or something. Um, and he's actually shooting the ball very well. Uh, he shot three for four from the three-point line against the Bucks last game. Granted, he's not going to do that every game, but uh, he uh, he's looking like he actually will be able to shoot the ball, shoot the three uh, right away. And that is something I don't. I think a lot of people weren't didn't suspect. They thought um, he would need you know, maybe a year or two to kind of get his shot under him, but it's looking like he he's being able to do that right away as a rookie, so that, that will really add to his game and make him a, a very good rookie for this Warriors team. Now, granted, this Warriors team is not good at all in the slightest, so that is, you know, that's something that uh, the Golden State Warriors are going to have to figure out are they even going to make the playoffs? I still have hope in them. I think they're kind of going to get it together. They have some talent. Uh, I mean, Steph Curry, um, he needs, he just needs to to play some more games and and get back into the rhythm of things. I know he is not shooting well, but I I think we all believe he will, you know, start shooting well, and that is only going to help James Wiseman's numbers. I mean, James, you know, with James Wiseman keep you know playing well, um, he is just going to improve. Because he hasn't really played a lot of games. He played three games in college last year. And other than that, he hasn't played. He didn't play, you know, G uh, preseason. So James Wiseman just needs to get some games under his belt. And I think he's going to improve as he, you know, gets consistent play in this season. Now, also, James Wiseman, uh, I think, will start to get a bigger role in this offense. I think they're going to do more screen and rolls. And that is something that they have looked very good at Uh screen and roll with Steph and um, James Wiseman, it looks pretty lethal. I mean, Steph, you always have to worry, especially when Steph uh, is starting to get hot. And once he gets his, his shot and his rhythm back, like the defenders are going to have to worry so much about him and him running off that screen and just popping um, that James Wiseman's going to have a lot of open roles. And I mean, James Wiseman, he's very athletic. He gets in the lane. He's going to be able to yam those suckers and it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a lot of highlight reels of Steph, you know, draining threes off of screens and James Wiseman doing his thing, and it's gonna be good. It is going to be a uh, very good to see. Now that is not meaning the Warriors are like championship contenders again, but I mean, I don't think they're gonna look so bad that they're not going to make the playoffs. I mean, especially next year when they get Clay, you know, Draymond comes back. Like, this team is going to be good because James Wiseman is going to be good. So, uh, I talked a lot about James Wiseman's offense, that he can shoot threes. He is very good in the pick and rolls, and he actually can kind of dribble some. I mean, he, he is pretty quick for a big man like that. So, that that is also another good, good aspect to his game. Now, uh, James Wiseman... Also, is surprisingly looking okay on the defense end. Uh, he is getting quite a few blocks. I think that is kind of what we all suspected him to do, given his uh, length and you know his size. I it, it's kind of you know like given that he's going to get quite a few blocks because he is like seven one or something, and he is pretty athletic. So he should you know he should be getting those blocks. But I I am surprised at his defense against Giannis. Now I would say he probably was the primary defender against Giannis I granted I didn't watch the whole game but uh while I did watch he he was guarding Giannis quite a bit and he all he Giannis only had 15 points that game now that I would say that's very good defense against Giannis and he did a pretty good job I was kind of I was pretty impressed uh with James Wiseman's defense against Giannis um now granted 
there's not going to be very many players like Giannis. I mean, uh, the other big stars in this league can shoot, but uh, given the fact that he can guard Giannis like that, you know, that gives me hope that he'll be able to guard like Anthony Davis, uh, Carl Anthony Towns, uh, though Carl Anthony Towns is a little bit of a bigger guy, but, um, you know, that defense, is, that defense uh, stands against Giannis is making me think that James Wiseman can become a very good defender and, you know, that if he can become that, this Warriors team, once they get all their offensive players back, is going to be very, very lethal because that's all. That's kind of what they always were missing, a, a very good center like that. And if he can become that good center, then, like, that's going to be, the Warriors are going to be very good. Now, uh, yeah, so his defense against Giannis really opened, I think, opened a lot of people's eyes and, you know, made people think, oh, maybe this guy can be a decent defender in the NFL, uh, in the NBA, I mean. <laughs> and, yeah, um, so James Wiseman is looking like a pretty dang good rookie. I mean, Anthony Edwards, he he's looking like he can kind of score, but that's about it. I mean... He's, he hasn't shown that he is any sort of a playmaker, uh, not the greatest rebounder, defender. He's all right. But Anthony, he, Anthony Edwards can score, but it's not like he's scoring more than James Wiseman is. And James Wiseman has, is showing that he has a, a little more to his game already than Anthony Edwards. LaMelo Ball is, you know, doing LaMelo Ball things. He uh, finally made some shots in that game, I think, in one of their, the Hornets' uh, first couple of games. But other than that, I mean, he's shown some pretty nice passes, I guess. But LaMelo Ball is definitely not playing. You know, he's good, and I, I want LaMelo Ball to succeed, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. He's definitely not as good as James Wiseman right now, I would say. Um, but we will have to see how it figures out. I think LaMelo Ball and James Wiseman will probably be the best rookies in this class. Um at least out of the top three, I don't think Anthony Edwards is going to be the that great. I think he'll be able to score. I'm I'm thinking more of like an R.J. Barrett kind of a guy, but um, and I definitely know that is not what the Timberwolves wanted when they selected him. So I mean, we're gonna have to see how that turns out. But James Wiseman is looking very good for the Warriors, looking like they found a a All Star type of a center. So yes, uh, James Wiseman is looking good because he can shoot threes. Uh, his defense is looking all right, you know, better than suspected. And the pick and roll with him and Curry is going to be nasty, 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 nasty. So they're gonna get all. That's gonna be you know one of the best pick and rolls in the NBA, um, if not the best actually. So guys, I hope you did enjoy. Tell me what you think of James Wiseman and if you think the Warriors made the right decision or, you know, if you think the Timberwolves should have drafted James Wiseman, uh, James Wiseman and Carl Anthony Towns uh, front, or, yeah, front court would look pretty interesting. Um, but, you know, it would be would be interesting to see that. Uh, but uh, tell me what you guys think of James Wiseman and why you guys think the Warriors are struggling so much and if you think they're going to make the playoffs. So guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. Uh, if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I will hopefully see y'all in the next one. Peace.